Well, Shecky, I think we're going to wrap it up here. No, no, one more. One more. Right. One more. They gave me the microphone. I'm going to use it. Back. Back. Use the microphone, my darling. Ask me a question quick. Can you do Sheriff of the Ship one more time? What? Sheriff of the Ship. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what she's talking about. When I got into the Navy, I went into the, the uh, it was during the Second World War, and, and I got aboard a ship called the Bon Amour Shard, CV-31, Essex class carrier. And I got aboard the ship, and uh, like, I didn't know too much about anti-Semitism or anything, and the guy said, I won't ask you how that boy you get that buck next, what the hell are you? I said, what do you want me to be? And for three years, I was a Mormon. That's not the punchline, though. No, no. So anyway, uh, I had a, uh, I had a little mezuzah on, right? Oh, I had my initial start a good star of Dublin. I had the star of David on, and on because all of you know everybody with the gold and the word things. So I put on a star of David because I won't ask you what the hell is that. I said the sheriff of the ship. <laughs> Is it all right the things I'm doing? Marie? Yes. <laughs> she left. How do I like that? She left. Wait, I'll give her one of the Julie Puddles. <laughs> Norman, I gotta tell you something. It's uh I I did it, I didn't want to do this. We huh? Well she what happened? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, but Norman asked me to do this because I haven't been working, I haven't been doing, I haven't really faced an audience or anything. And people would not believe this. With all the money that I made, which was really nothing, like I, it could have been twenty dollars. But it, it, it just so happened I got very, very lucky in this town. This town was the best thing in the world for me at that time, and it was not the best thing for the drinking and gambling. But this town really made Shecky green. So anyway, thank you. Oh, I don't say. No, 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 but the audience, this is what? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He tells a joke that you both better than I do. Hello there. I, I just want to tell you something. Norm Clark said to me, would you come down and just for a few minutes, Watch while I interview. <laughs> this has been one of the funniest telephone songs I've ever done. I think I think that every young comedian should come when Checky is performing and get a lesson on what true comedy is all about. I remember the first time I saw him, I was 11 years old. The second time. And I will never forget the many nights that I would finish my particular comedy and run down because to see Shecky when he's in action, there's nobody like him. And tonight, you've been blessed by a great, great artist. Thank you. I love you. One of the great. Thanks very much. I, you know, I was thinking about, listen, I said, please, please sit down, the meeting is over. 
But I gotta tell you, uh, Norm asked me to do this thing, and as I said before, uh, I thought about it. Like I said before, that I don't want to be in front of a lot of people anymore, you know? Because I, this is honest to God, I actually get frightened. I used to get, I would get on the stage, I was making $100,000 a week, I would get the worst panic attacks than any human being ever got in their life. I don't know whether people know what panic attacks are. Oh, yeah. But I lived through panic attacks and depression. Later on, I got took all the kind of pills were coming out, and I took this pill, I took Xanax, I took that pill, I took that, this pill, then finally I said, the hell with this, I won't tell them to take these anymore, and I start selling them. <laughs> I did a lot better. But there is one man here that's a friend of the, the, the Norman I, and his name is Gene Kilroy. And Gene is the one who convinced me that I should do this with you. Where, where is he sitting? Gene, where you at? Did he leave? Yeah. He never did like me, did he? I don't think he came. What do you think of that? He left here. He's with Marie. He's with Marie. We Marie, we Marie. How I love you, the whole world to see. I came into my life out of all you were the best wife. We Marie, we Marie. How I love you, you'll never know. But Marie, my Marie, I love this audience so so. Sponsors, Southern Wine and Spirits, Hugo Cellar at the Four Queens, Channel 13, the Las Vegas Review Journal, Connell Outdoor, Carlos, Carlos Bakery, Carlos Bakery made that incredible cake. Vegas for Locals, thank you very much. Jerry Metellus Photography, thank you, Jerry. Mark Richards Videography and Farrington Productions. Thanks again, folks. Appreciate it.